Alright, this is part two to What If Female Deku with Betty. Now, where we last left off, I believe they... Um, hold on, give me a minute. I need to check where we last left off. Okay, that's me back, and we shall continue where we left off with the, um, with the, and with the two weeks passing. So, Alex, actually, hold on, I'll explain a little bit. So, somebody asked, uh, in the comments if, uh, the mon, if, uh, soul traits and monsters will play a little bit of a role. So, I'll explain it to some of you in case you guys haven't read the comments. So, I said that soul traits will play a little bit of a role, but they won't play a massive role like they were in Glitch Tale. So, they're going to be sort of like a side thing, sort of like Altera was with my Chilicerate What If. And, and the monsters will be, but the soul traits and the monsters will be classified as quirky as this. So, people's soul traits will be class, will have quirks will be mistaken for quirk users, and the monsters will be mistaken for people with mutation-type quirks. So, there we go. Now, we shall continue where we last left off with the two weeks passing, with both Uraraka and Betty in their apartment, with them receiving the letters that they had both, and that they had gone into UA, and they had and they have gone into class 1A with All Might saying, Welcome to your hero academia. Okay, so I'm gonna be replacing some characters in here. In here, so, um, so Mineta will be replaced with, uh, if you've seen the, uh, some of the Franz comics, you'll know this character. Uh, they will be replaced by. Minette will be replaced by Ellis. So if you've seen the Friends comics, you will know who that is. And for those of you who don't know, is basically um, Sans and Frisk's child. Now we'll continue on from there. All right. So once again to class, everybody uh, looks over and notices um and sees everybody. The two people, and the first person who scored first place in the entrance exam. Okay, so in case some, I'll stop right here. I'm sorry if I'm stopping so much. I'm just trying to like explain something that I completely forgot to explain earlier. This does not take place in the Glitch Tale timeline. So no, Sans is not dead, and Frisk is Frisk is not male. They are female. All right, so let's can continue now so so the so as the Uraraka and uh, Betty enter the class Aizawa comes up from behind his desk stating saying to everyone that it took them all 10 minutes to shut up this is not good for the uh, for hero for the hero course students now he will now um he will say say Put on the gym clothes. It's time for the. We'll be doing a quirk assessment test. With Uraraka about to ask, what about the? Uh, well, the again. Um. I forgot what it was called. Oh yeah, orientation. She was about to say that, but Betty, just um, puts a finger up to her lips uh, to say to say hush. With um. Betty getting up, uh, grabbing the uh, gym uniform, and uh, walking off. Now, this entire time she's been split from from Kumu, so Kumu has been floating around her a lot. Now she will get down to the uh, locker area, the changing rooms, as she notices a small hole as she. As she uh, taps Kumu on the taps Kumu and then make moves her eyes toward the hole, which Kumu notices as he goes to cover it up. Now in this one, Denki will be the one to try and peek through the hole, which he would fail. 
at because Kumu had uh, blocked a hole up. And once they get out to the field, Aizawa then tosses Betty the ball, stating that you're the one who got first place in the entrance exam, so you get so so you throw the ball first. With uh, Bakugo being a being enraged by this, thinking that he was the only one, thinking that he got first in the exam. As Betty would then walk up to the circle and go into into her true form and creating a spe creating a spear from her soul, which she then puts the ball the ball on as she basically as she just throws it. As, as she ends up getting infinity, with um, with everybody being surprised. On, sorry about that. With everyone being surprised by this, except for Raka, because she knew that that her sister was pretty strong. Now, the tests would go as they did in canon with a. Uh, but with Betty crushing everybody and everything else. And when the scoreboard comes up, it shows that uh, Invisible Girl had gotten last, so she's um, she's not expelled from UA, she's just moved to Class 1B and is replaced by... Um, I, I'd say Tetsu Tetsu. Yeah, Tetsu Tetsu. With um, with their day going as usual, as usual, and then it, it once it gets to the end of the day, is then the uh, heroes versus villains test, with um everybody walking out in their hero suits, with Betty walking out in her casual attire, like sort of like what you see in the image, with everybody questioning on why. The, why she doesn't have a hero outfit and is just in casual attire. She then states that she doesn't that she doesn't want to be too flashy and she just prefers ca casual attire instead of hero clothing because it's a lot more comfortable to move around in. Now the only thing different about um the thing the her outfit is that her skirt instead of being a normal one is a combat skirt. And in case some of you don't know what that is, it's basically a skirt that uh, stays down so it doesn't move around much. Or at all. It just stays in one position. So, with that all the way, we'll begin with the um, battles. So, Bakugo and Ida are on the same... The teams are as they were in canon. And we'll then begin with um, the, f the fight. So, Betty and Uraka and sneak into the um, building where uh, Betty states that Bakugo will probably come for her. So she, so she will have, so you'll have to, um, you'll go and deal with Ida while I deal with Bakugo. With uh, Betty, with um, Araka agreeing to this as she would go off as her and Kumu would fuse back into um, their true form with um, Bakugo leaping around the corner and her and him basically det detonating the explosion an explosion with um, Betty's fate with a uh, part of Betty's a normal, normal human skin sort of like peeling back to reveal like the uh, pinkish uh, pinkish uh, face that you see in glitch that you see in glitch tail as it quickly reforms as she is currently feeding off of Bakugo's hatred towards her for getting first place as she realizes that this is a lot of hate that she's getting from him as 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 Bak as her soul sort of like pops up reveal revealing that completely black inside, but has a pinkish outline, whereas Bakugo's is a sort of orange, so his Bakugo's soul is bravery. 
Actually, no, Bakugo's soul will be determination. Because he's determined to become the number one hero. So Bakugo's... So, Betty would see Bakugo's soul and see that his determination. As she would send a black tendril towards Bakugo to pin him up against the wall. As this would injure Bakugo quite a lot. As he would end up collapsing to the ground. With him going to charge at Betty again. But with her pulling out her, using her scythe to slash at Bakugo's arm gauntlets, which sets off an explosion, which sends them both flying back. As Betty, because remember, Bakugo's sweat is basically nitroglycerin, and that thing, is, and that stuff is very volatile. As she then. As Betty would then get up and uh, knock out Bakugo with her winning that encounter. As she would then go up to where Be to where um, Ochako was with um, with both her and Ochako fighting against Ida with her with uh, I'll say Ida's soul is a uh, well the um, I think it was in, uh, I think it was the Integrity, that was the Dark Blue, no, it was Perseverance, that was the Dark Blue one. I'm, I'm not sure, you guys can tell me in the comments below, I have not played Undertale in a long time. Okay, so, that's Eat of Soul, the Dark Blue one, so, um, Betty would basically take, take our spear and throw it that would hit Ida in the shoulder as it would pin him up against the wall. As Uraka would touch the bomb, as All Might would say, Hero Team wins. And that is where I'm going to leave it off. I'm th and I will see you guys in a part 3 to this, but later today I will upload part 2 to the Xenomorph one. So I'll see you guys later.